Most of our church people here at Landmark Temple is defeated. You won't come for visitation. You won't shoulder responsibility. Thank God for the faithfuls. And I wouldn't discourage them, but my great burden is trying to stir up people to tithe and to be dedicated and to offer yourself for service, to give a witness for Jesus Christ. You young men that are called to serve, to get up and do it. I said to a young man the other day, don't you get an image of slothfulness and laziness. You can't help how you look, but you don't have to be accused of being lazy. Kick a barn door off, run through a window, do something. There's no need of anybody being trifling and lazy. And this is part of the age. A lot of you fellows in unions don't want to work 40 hours a week. God Almighty said you labor six days. And if your union strikes and you get 32 hours a week, then you ought to put in 60 for Jesus. God bless your little shriveled up hide. That's what's wrong with a lot of people today. They're not willing to pay a price. We want something for nothing. There's very few of us worth what we're being paid anyway. That'll get you close to where your living is. Old Walter doesn't work, and he can say amen to that one. <laughs> that's the truth, Walter. And that's the way we are when we come to Jesus Christ. We're wanting something for nothing. If we'll, if we'll wear the crown, we must bear the cross. You're not going to enjoy the blessings of heaven without you have borne the cross for Jesus Christ. What do you think? What do you think it means when he said you'll be saved yet so as by fire in the book of Corinthians? Going to heaven without any burden and without any cross. You won't have any trophies to lay at the feet of Jesus.